All right. Mall Rats came out in 1995, one year after Clerks, but it actually takes place the day before Clerks in continuity-wise. And first thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, original beginning to this, is they had a big old opening scene that took place at uh, Governor's Ball, and it was a costume party that ended with T.S., one of the main characters, accidentally shooting the governor with an arrow or something in the leg. I don't remember what it was. Something like that. And it's actually still referenced in some of the film. Like, there's, uh, like, some people say, like, oh, wait, after what you pulled at the governor's mansion. Or, it's the mad fat chick killer or something like that. Uh, it is ADR one line. Like, when they're, uh, coming back from the thrift, thrift mall, whatever it's called, and, um, one of the guys pulls T.S. over and says, hey, aren't you the guy who shot the mayor or something like that? Or, and it was ADR to something, like, hey, aren't you the guy dating Brittany Stranding? Something like that. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, it's referenced several times because they didn't bother to take out uh, some of the minor lines. But <clears throat> just, you know, because originally they thought that this film was too long. It's two and a half hours long and the Universal was like, no, nah, it's too long. We can't, you know, two and, a, two and a half hour movie about a couple of guys going to the mall. It still got cut down. As a result... Uh, Jeremy London's hair in the first scene is longer than uh, than it is in the rest of the film because they shot this new opening where they break up here because you know, they still break up in the other one but they break up here. Basically, his two friends, T.S. played by Jeremy London and uh <coughs> Brody, played by uh, Jason Lee, and uh, uh, T.S.'s girlfriend breaks up with him after they reference what they do. Uh, they reference the girl that uh, died in a swimming pool, and that uh, Dante and Randall go to the funeral for in Clerks. And uh, because of that, um, the, this girl was going to be a contestant on Brandy's dad's game show in the mall. And because of... And it happened. And it's somehow T.S.'s fault because he mentioned she had a fat ass or something. I don't remember. Uh, and... Uh, well, could, okay, I didn't have the sound off, but I was, I was watching the... Uh, I was listening to the commentary. I like to... With certain films, I like to play the commentary track over the film, and this is one of them because it just it's it, it's a it's a it's a great commentary track. They talk all about it, so I know some of the stuff. Uh, and yeah, just so they, you know they get in an argument because what he wants to do is he wants to take her to Florida. And he wants to propose to her. Well, now that. She promised to go on her dad's game show. He can't do that, so he's pissed. And he's trying to get her to back out of it, but it ends up in them breaking up. So he goes to Brody's house, and Brody was just dumped by his girlfriend, Renee, played by Shannon Doherty. And so they end up going to the mall, and, like, everybody else is at the mall, too, apparently. And like, there's always there's a line in the game show later, like, well, like all T.S. did was go to the mall. I'm like, so did you. And it's not just for the game show. She was in the mall looking at clothes too, so it's not just, you know, Jansen and Bob's role in this is a little bit. They have a little bit more of a role in this than they did in Clerks, which is cool. They're more prominent. Um, and a lot of characters that would be featured in. Like, I don't know, actors too that will be featured in pure future films in this. Like, um, 
Jason Lee himself would go on to be a Jason Amy Dogma, Janice on Bob Strike Back. Like, he's in like all of them, I guess. Clerks too. He's he's in every movie except for Clerks, actually, if you think about it. The only actor to be in every one of these movies. Kevin Smith. <laughs> And uh, Jason Mewes, that only wants to be in all of these. I guess, I think. The only other one would be Brian O'Halloran. Could be the other one. Except for he's not... I don't know if he's in Jansom Bob Reboot. So... I don't know. But, uh... uh and Brian O'Halloran, he plays a different character in each film. Except for Clerks 2 and Jansom and Bob Strike Back. He plays Dante, but... He plays other characters in Mallrats, Chasing Amy, and Dogma. And they all have the last name Hicks. And the running joke was that they're all uh, relatives of Dante. So here he's Grant Hicks, I think his name is. And he's one of the contestants on the game show thing. So, um... Uh... So they decide, T.S. and Brody, they want to stop this, this game show from going on. They want to interrupt it. And so they hire Jay and Son and Bob to take down the stage. It doesn't work. <coughs> because they're bumbling idiots. And they're chased by the head security guard, the force. And, like, because every time I try to do this, uh, they end up interrupting Jory Lord and Adam's character. Uh, trick, no. Gwen. And this, like, she plays Alyssa in the, the next, in the three films, that, the, the next three films that she's in in this, but in this one, she's Gwen, a different character. And we also introduced to Trish the Dish, Trisha Jones, who would be Alyssa Jones' sister, which... We met a different Jones, and they don't explain it on this either. I don't know if they explain it in, on the Chiefs and Amy commentary. I listened to that too, but that was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, um, another thing they don't explain is why Brody's carrying around this little cup. He's carrying around this little cup most for most of the film until he gets beaten up by Ben Affleck's character, Shannon Hamilton, the proprietor, the proprietor of Flash, the, the proprietor of fashionable mail. The store in the mall. And actually, this mall used was the Eden Prairie Mall in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Which is no longer there. But they filmed it there. So, yeah, it's another film that was filmed. Another, another movie that was filmed in Minnesota was this. My Ducks. You know. Um, <clears throat> Kevin Smith on the commentary talked about how he was, uh, he was really fat there. And he has lost a lot of weight. I look at him now, I look at him here, he's lost a lot of weight. Uh, and then there's a Jedi thing where he's, they show him at first, he's trying to lift a cigarette with his Jedi mind powers. But he can't do it, and later there's an incident where he's trying to get a tape with his Jedi powers. And Willem, who's played by Ethan Suplee in this one, bumps the stage and makes it fall into his hand. And it's like... Like it worked. But like, okay, let's discuss Willem. Because they talk about this on the commentary track. Um, this Willem is the same Willem from Clerks. Willem Black. But in Clerks, he was played by Scott Mosher, who's also the producer. Here, even though Mosher was in the film, he, he played Roddy, an assistant to Mr. Svenning, played by Michael Rooker. Ethan Suplee played Willem here. And he, but remember, this takes place one day before Clerks in continuity. So, how do you go from being big fat, Ethan Simply, to little uh, Scott Moser? Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's interesting to think about that continuity. Why is. Uh, yeah, so. Since they can't destroy the, 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 you know, the stage, they get kicked out by Mr. Svenning. And, okay, I love this gag. So, 
Brody talks about a gag where what you do is you take your hand, you stick it up your ass, and you're like, hey, Mr. Svenning, would you like a chocolate colored pretzel? And he does that. He comes over and he he hands he gives him pretzels and stuff, and he's eating the pretzels, and he ends up getting diphtheria because of it. But he kicks them out, and they go to the uh, thrift mall. And I know it's not a thrift mall. But that's what he makes you think of. But they they meet the uh, the chick from Thieves Company, the the last blonde one to be on there, Priscilla Barnes. She played Terry. I think her name was, but I don't remember her here. Here, Ivana. I just remembered it. And she's a topless fortune teller, and she takes her top off, and she's got three nipples, two on one side, one on the other. And it's just like Brody's like. And they talk about on the, on the commentary track how she was she wasn't shy at all. She was you know she was all forthcoming with that. She wasn't shy at all about doing that. And they thought it was weird because she was a three company chick, and um. Supposedly Jason Mewes got with her, and they they made a joke. They're like, uh, Jason Mewes running around going, "Hey, I got the three son company chick," and they're like, "Oh, Joyce DeWitt." I would have said Suzanne Summers. She's the most known from that, but you know, Jenna Lee Harris. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, after that, they decide to go back to the regular mall, and they're gonna. They use Jay to, so they, they, uh, they have, okay, so Trisha, Trish the Dish, she is, she's like, she's doing this, uh, project or something, for school or something, where she sleeps with men all ages between 18 and 50 or whatever, and she documents the experience. One of them was Shannon Hamilton. So, uh, Brody has her go get the tape, and... He, she, he comes back, he says, give it to Silent Bob. And, um, so while Silent Bob is trying to figure out that, how to hook it up and get that done, um, he has Jay distract the, the contestants, but he only gets two of them. The other one, Grant, who's played by Ryan O'Halloran, uh, is, you know, because there's only two. So, Brody and... T.S. take the other two places. So, my question is, if they got all three, would Jay have been the third person on the on the docket there? Would he been the first? The, the other, you know, Bachelor number three or whatever? Who knows? But, you got Grant Hicks, and he's basically gets told to shut up about the whole thing. But, this whole thing needs to not only... Uh, T.S. and Brandy getting back together. But also, Brody and Renee get back together in the end, too. And the police allow him to kick Shannon Hamilton in the nuts. And it's just like, or punch him in the gut or whatever. And it's like, would cops actually do that? I mean, they're like, oh, come on, just one? And he's like, they're like, okay. And like, would they actually allow that? Who knows? But yeah. And so they tell me these TV producer people tell Mr. Spinning they don't want his show. They want Brody to host his own show. And he's like, because in the deleted scenes, I watched the extended version before. And in that, he, he was very forthcoming about wanting to be on TV. Uh, so yeah, like there was, I think there was a scene where he took a uh, like, a news crew or something. I don't remember what it was. It's something like that. And uh Because he lives next door to the Spannings, which is why, you know, TSA would get right? But did he leave his car in their driveway? Because that was the I don't know. Uh I put my nose. It lying across me, man. Oh. Ow. I'll fix that afterward. I'll fix it in post. Not on here, but I'll fix that. So, they do this. Uh, where are they now thing in the end? To the Su Tuna Weezer's Suzanne. And it shows like Brody got his own, um, uh, 
uh, talk show and Renee's his co-host or whatever. Not co-host, but the band leader because she's playing the drums or something. And then uh, the whole thing was that T.S. wanted to propose to Brandy where Jaws pops out of the water in Orlando. And that's where they get married. And they show... Uh, Uh, like Shannon Hamilton's in prison. Well, no, I think the extended version has him in prison. But I don't think they showed anything here. Maybe they do. I don't remember. And, like, Willem finally saw the symbol. And the whole thing for, for Willem's character here is that he wanted to see... It's one of those magic picture things. You know, the... We, with all the... There's nothing and you gotta stare at it. I never got... I was never able to do those things, probably because my eyesight's so messed up. But I was never able to do those. You stare at them and you have to see the picture. He never saw it either, but it's supposed to be a sailboat. And in the where they are now, it said if William eventually saw the sailboat. He's like, yeah. And then they 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 set up. I guess they set up for Chance and Bob strike back because there's a scene at the end where Chance and Bob are walking down the street with a monkey, and there with a monkey. It looks like the same monkey. From Jane Son of Bob Strike Back. So that sets up for that. And. Yeah. And. Uh, Trisha's book. Like she. That she was doing. Became a national seller. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh. Stanley's cameo. In this. He talks to Brody. Because that's what convinces Brody. To go. After Renee. And. Actually revealed that T.S. You know, talked him into it. Because he needed him for his plan to work. Yes, it works. This movie's alright. I know it, it like, flopped when it came out. But I think it's alright. I'll, I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7, definitely. It's definitely a pretty good movie. A uh, little story, though. Um, so. What was it? I bought Clerks 2 from High V when it was still over here. And I remember really loving it. So I wanted to see all the other ones that were connected to this. I'd seen Dogma. So that, you know, there was that. I already seen Dogma, but I wanted to get all the other ones. I had the DVDs. And the one movie I could never find anywhere was Mall, was this one, Mallrats. And like when the Hollywood video, it was always sold out. It was never in for some reason. Like, we even checked. Do you have my rest? Yeah, we have it. It's not out. It's not available right now. So, for, I think it was my birthday, or I think it was Christmas. Christmas, my grandma bought me my rest, like, off online or something. And I still have that DVD. You know, I have it, all the Blu-rays. I still have that DVD. I've gotten rid of all the other DVDs, except for that one. Because it means something to me. Yeah, it's a little story I wanted to show you. So, it's a 7 out of 10 for me. What are your thoughts on Mallrats? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. It's Noji Boochies.